few people tonight. Um, there's been some very interesting things with uh, kids having to test themselves for COVID. What? And that didn't go very well. Who thinks that having a kid shove a Q-tip all the way up to their brain is going to go well? It did not go well. Six-year-olds. God. An entire class of six-year-olds. Two classes of six-year-olds. Those poor teachers. Uh, we've had uh, some very interesting curriculum posted. I don't remember if you guys were here a couple board meetings ago. They guaranteed us, they reassured us, trust us. We're not going to put anything crazy out there. Well, you'll hear a little bit more about that. Shannon's got some really interesting things to talk to you about uh, that they, they uh, gave to the eighth graders to read. All right, so before we, before we go to Shannon, I'd like to have Coach Chris just have a minute to talk to us um, about some fundraising opportunities we have here as we're continuing to uh, push for this recall. Great. First of all, uh, you know, the other side is really good at breaking us down. Would you agree? Yep. Yeah. And what has to happen is we've got to keep pushing back. Because, you know, when we started our group, six months ago we had you know maybe 700 people that were part of it that were all standing up wanting to fight and push back but they've been pushed on pushed on pushed on and a few hundred of them have given up they're giving up so we can't do that that's what they want you know i had a doctor call me today that said the health department showed up at his office because they don't uh you know require people to wear masks it's all choice and the health department came in trying to harass them. And I said, we gotta push back. Because here's the thing, it's not a law. So any of you that own a business, myself included, the health department shows up, you tell them they got three minutes to get off your property, or you call the sheriff and have them arrested for trespassing. That's pushing back. We've gotta do that, you guys, because these guys keep wearing everybody down and we give in and that's what they want us to do. That's why these guys, what they're doing here, we can't, we, we gotta keep pushing. The crowds are getting smaller, yes, but the, the ones that are out here are the committed ones and we've gotta keep showing up for these guys. It's for our kids, our grandkids. They've, uh, the fundraising has been picking up but we still need some more. It's really, where are we now, Shannon? On the fundraising, where, what number are you at? 22% of the goal. Okay. So our goal was 80,000. 80, we're, 80, we're about 18,000. Okay, so 18,000, you know, pretty good. But we got to get to that to that goal. And if all of us just do a little bit, you know, and I know a lot of people, time and money's tough, but we, we've got to sacrifice what we can for our kids and grandkids. The board's not going to listen. They're not going to listen, are they? The only way they're going to listen is put the heat on and get these guys recalled. Once that happens, they're going to know that the people are serious. They think we're going to give up. Nobody's given up, right? Nope. And here's the other thing I want to encourage you. Who has not been on one of the Zoom meetings yet to call into the board? Who has not been on a Zoom meeting? Let's put our hands up. Whoever has not, I want to encourage you to do it tonight. They're tired of us. It's the same six to eight faces over and over. They look at us. They, they shut their, they turn down. We need new faces out there because if not, the message we're giving them, it's just 10 people. The same 10 people complaining over and over and over. So they need to see new faces. If you haven't been on there tonight, please stay here, take the time, and get on there uh, to that Zoom meeting. So for those of you that haven't, make sure you line up here tonight and Shannon, help them get on the, the Zoom meeting and, and pour it on to them. Speak from your heart. Let them know why you're here, but they've got to see some new faces. You know, right now they think it's the same crowd, and we don't want to give them that opportunity. All right, thanks, guys. I know they're tired of my face. <laughs> They've been looking at my face for over a year now. I started in on August 18th of a, wow. a year ago is when I started, and it's. You know, obviously it snowballed into more than I could have ever imagined. But like Chris said, we're not giving up. I've never given up on anything in my life. This seems as worthy of a cause 
as anything else I've ever done. So we're not giving up. Woo-hoo.